And the penguins, oh, never have a penguin for a pet. <laughs> It's not bring your grandma to school day or any kind of special day of the year at Rutland Intermediate School. It's comforting to know that they have a grandma here. Patricia Patch is here Monday through Friday to see her kids. And I love walking down the street and hearing, hey, Graham, Graham. She's not referring to her biological grandchildren yelling out to her. You know, Graham loves to read. These students call her Grams, and she is the second set of eyes in Mrs. Joyce's fourth grade classroom. But how she got here all started with a shopping trip. And when I met her at the mall one day, she said, what are you going to do now you're retired? I need a foster grandmother. Five years later, we're still working together. Mrs. Joyce couldn't be in class the day we visited, which means Grams was taking over. Come over here. She's kind of like my second grandma, which I, it's nice. Ethan Wideawake believes every school should have the foster grandparent program. This is an opportunity to let retired men and women volunteer their time to help out in elementary schools. She sharpens us our pencils. She washes our tables, she helps us like with words if we need them spelled. She's very helpful. I was gonna say, you sound busy. I am, I am. With 10 grandchildren of her own, we wondered why would she put in these six hour work days? It gives me a purpose. Um, I lost my husband seven years ago. In the last four years, I've lost two sons. And she says this program gives her a sense of belonging. I'm blessed. I am blessed. Grams, you're not the only one who feels that way. She's a dynamo. Even Principal Jay Slanker feels pretty blessed to have you on campus. She she just keeps rolling, and and she is here every day. She doesn't really takes sick days, she comes in, she's got a smile on her face. Were you meant to be a Graham? Yeah, I was. <laughs> I know I was. That was my calling, I think. <laughs> Melissa Sheketoff, Channel 3 News in Rutland.